We're in the garage. And? And Junior's not here. And? And you want to make love in the garage? What? You freaky little thing. What are you Let me doing? turn on the, the dryer here so that butt can go around like that. I like that. Yeah, Michael, 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 come back to me. No, no, no. That's, that's not the surprise. Come that's on, not the surprise? Back. No, no, it's not. All right, then I give up, unless it's that stupid bookshelf. That is it, but it's not stupid, Michael. It's a simple thing that makes the room more homey and comfy. Baby, I don't want this room more homey and comfy for Junior. I want it as uncomfortable as possible so he has incentive to leave. You know what I'm saying? No. This is a prison cell. It's punishment for what he did back in our room. Remember Come when on, he did that? Michael, you're still not thinking about that, are you? I can't forget it. He had sex in our bed. You don't remember that? Michael, you were just about to try to have sex with me in his room. I know. I'm trying to teach him a lesson you'll never forget. What? <laughs> what? Wait. If you play your cards right, I just might take you up on that offer. Blackjack, let's get started. No, I want to show you something else. I like it. That's not it. I know where your eyes are. <laughs> Look, sconces. Wow. Yeah. Look at these sconces. This is nice. That is not a sconce. That's a doily. The, yes, these are sconces. Oh, yes. I like the sconces. Why don't you climb your butt up on this doily? Michael, will you please look at my sconces? They're nice, baby. You are the Martha Stewart of remodeling. You are the model remodeler. See, I, I'm so glad you brought that up, because I was just talking to a contractor. And why do you need a contractor? Because I want to remodel the garage, baby. Oh, why? What's wrong with it? It's a garage. We can't continue to let the kids live in here like this. What don't you understand about punishment for what he did in our room, Will you Jay? please forget the punishment? Look, Michael, there's an oil stain in the middle of the living room. I know. And do you know what the price of oil is? Hmm? That adds equity. What? Equity. No, Michael, Equity. it's dangerous and it's slippery. No, you know what it does? It helps to heighten your senses. If you walk on an oil stain, then you start to slip. Whoa, whoa. It helps you with your equilibrium and balance. Okay, I didn't want to have to do this. I didn't want to have to bring out the heavy artillery, but I'm going to have to. You forced me what? to say it. What? I'm pulling the grandbaby Oh, part. Lord, that was Yes, I am. <laughs> your grandson. No, 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 no. I see. No, no, no. No. Mm. Ah. Oh. Let it go. Mm. Oh. That's right. Oh. The fruit oh. of the fruit of your loins is living in a garage. You've got your baby living in a garage. you got him living in a garage. Think about what you're talking about. This is a time-consuming process. Mm -hmm. First of all, you have to have bids. Got it. Well, then you need to get permits. Got it. And you also got, got it. <laughs> And guess what else? What? Contractors meet us here in the morning. Yeah, well, you know what you don't have? What? My permission. Got it. What are you doing? Oh, I'm writing a love letter to Nanya. Nanya who? Nanya business. Well, I'm writing a love letter to Franklin, and I want to know if you want to see it. <sighs> sure. Okay. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm four foot one and you're three foot two. Love, Katie. <laughs> Is this a love letter or are you trying to insult him? You don't like it? <laughs> well, you need to stop referring to his height. Um, what should I write about? Just tell him the way he makes you feel. Tom? <laughs> no, emotionally. Look, I just wrote this letter to Tommy. Why don't you read this and use it as a guideline to what a real love letter sounds like? Okay, thanks. This is good. This is real good. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh -huh. knock this wall out completely. Right. Put in some nice insulation right in there. I don't think so. We're not paying for that, buddy. What are you talking about? Can you see insulation? Not if it's done right. Okay, then I'm not paying for it. I'm only paying for things I see. You wanna show us some outsulation, I'll pay for that. <laughs> well, you don't see nails, do you? Then we don't use them. Uh, well, then what's going to hold everything together? You can use gum, glue, staples, <laughs> some of that stuff. <laughs> Something I can see, Woody. Come on, come in, come in. Right. Excuse us for a second. Will you come over here, please? I need to talk to you. Yes, my love. What are you doing? What was that? Jay, you can't let these guys hustle you. He's a con man. That's why they call him contractor, because contract. Con to rob, taken from the root word convict, to rob you of your traction. See, if he was honest, he'd be called on tractor, a honest tractor. That's about the dumbest thing I've ever heard you say. You know I why? Swear Let me is. tell you why it's dumb. Why? It's dumb because this is not your money you're spending. Whoa. I mean, wait, no, you right, clarify no, no. this for me, guys. <laughs> I'm not, what, what, what money? 
if we got a divorce, yes. you'd get half. Oh, remember that part. But we are happily in love. For I now. Can, for now. <laughs> yes, and I'm controlling the purse strings. And I say, you let me do my magic. I got this guy's respect, Jay. I deal with guys like Woody all the time. Woody. That's why they call him Woody. Would he cheat you? Yes, he would. D. <laughs> See, this guy, mm -hmm. the only thing he responds to is me saying no. No, we're not going to put in a new floor. No, no walls. No, we don't need a foundation. No, we don't want lights up there. No, 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 we no, no. Hey, can I ask you something? No. I just thought perhaps... No. If we were to count... No. No, 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 no. I quit. <laughs> See, that's respect, Jake. He's gone. Just playing the role. This is the game, the negotiation game. See, he walks outside and he waits in his truck. And then he gives me the middle finger. <laughs> oh, yeah. He wants me to believe that he's really upset. And he backs up over the mailbox and he gives me the finger again. Wow, this guy is good. <laughs> he plays the game, this guy. He wasn't the right guy. Oh, Michael! <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Look, we're gonna do what we should have done in the first place, Jay. We'll just do it ourselves. You're gonna do it yourself? Yeah, me and Junior. Uh, uh, you and Junior are gonna use power tools, nail guns, hot glue. Yeah, and that thing that goes, that cuts through stuff. You mean a saw? Yeah, that thing. It's gonna be a great bonding experience for us. Yeah, you can bond all to the hospital in ambulance. <laughs> you know what? You go on and laugh, Jay. But let me tell you something. He who laughs last gets the first laugh after the guy who laughed before him. And if he laughed that time, then imagine how good the laugh will be when you last laugh last. <laughs> hey, Franklin. Have you seen Claire? He's upstairs. Tight. <sighs> what are you reading? A love letter. Katie has such a way with words. Listen to this. I think you're really neat. Your kisses are so sweet. You knock me off my feet. You make me feel complete. When, when I, I see, see you, you, my heart, heart begins, begins to, to pound. pound. <laughs> hey, how'd you know that? Have you been reading my letter? No, have you been reading mine? Let me see yours. Let me see yours. They're identical. That could only mean one thing. Claire obviously plagiarized Katie's letter. Impossible. It's just a coincidence. If Claire were copying Katie, you'd have also gotten one of these candy, candy necklaces. <laughs> you know what? That's just another amazing coincidence. Because I know for a fact that Claire got me, and only me, a box of caramel coverage for raisin bunnies in, in action, action pose. <laughs> so it's true. Somebody's been ripping somebody off. Question is who? Well, that's easily checked. Every letter has a date. Whichever letter is dated first is the original. Ouch! I'm crestfallen. My dear Katie is a plagiarist. Well, I'm sure if you got all that, then you must have got a pair of these. Pink pen. <laughs> no, I didn't get any of those. No. <laughs> you know they got mixed in with the reds. You probably think I'm weird. I'm not weird, okay? Cheering up, he stinks. Sorry, Mama, but that wasn't a baby. Oh! Donald and Matt was open that time! Here's your battle, Junior Junior. Don't you like the battle? Don't you like the battle? Give me a battle. Give me a battle. Give me a battle. I love you, Adam. driving me crazy. How much longer is this remodel going to take? Hey, don't you rush art. The Sistine Chapel was not built in a day. The pyramids weren't a weekend project. And the Taj Mahal certainly didn't just pop up overnight. Well, Michael, you better get it done, and you better get it done quickly, or else I'm calling a contractor. Baby, you don't need to say that. No! But if I can... No! You need to no. get me... No! 
Give a kiss. No, 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 no. Got it. Come on, step, step. Now, let's go over the safety checklist, all right? Okay. If you look around, you'll see that we're in a very dangerous environment. Mm -hmm. Okay, you notice some of these two by fours still have nails protruding from them. Mm -hmm. So you want to be careful. Always be careful. No matter what you do, think safety. You got your protective goggles in case, you know, some debris fries out and tries to hit you in the eye. And most of all, Junior, you have to be careful because we got a lot of exposed wires around here. And they're what we call in the business hot. Well, if they're hot, why don't you just cool them off? <laughs> Because, boy, you still doing the hammer. That's not even a good hammer. This is the way you do hammer. Oh, 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 Wait, what? I, I didn't mean that one. So what's the plan? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I just went to the library and I picked up all these books on how to do it yourself. Great! Let's get started. Don't yell at my ears. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Here it is. How to convert your garage. Chapter one, page one. Page one. Let's get started. All right. First thing you do is select a grommet. Junior, go get the grommet. Gotcha. Um, Dad, what's a grommet? Wait, how old are you? You don't know what a grommet is? No. Do you? Daddy. <laughs> of course I know what a grommet is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm here to teach you. And you know what? Through process of elimination, we're going to teach you what a grommet is. Because I know what a grommet is. Okay. It's up to you to figure out what a grommet is. Is that a grommet? No. All right, you can put that in that pile right there. That's the pile that's not grommet, okay? All right, is this a grommet? No, it's a skateboard. <laughs> okay, then we put this in a, definitely not a grommet. We put that in the skateboard pile. Yeah. All right, is this a grommet? It looks grommety. Maybe. Okay, let's test it out. We're gonna have to test it to see okay. if it's the grommet. Grommet? No! Okay. And it's not a grommet. All right. We'll put that in the maybe pile. Maybe grommet, maybe not. All right, is this a grommet? No. How you know? I know. Let me test it out. No. All right. <laughs> is that a grommet? No. Yeah, it didn't feel like a grommet. <laughs> so, we'll put this in the maybe a grommet pile. Ugh. How many things do we have in the maybe a grommet pot? Sixteen, including a fork. We narrowed it down, I think, to one. And what's that? This, sir, I believe is a grommet. You want to test it out? <laughs> no, I don't want to test it out. It says grommet on it. All right, well, we're on our way. All right, so now we go to the next sentence of chapter one. It says, insert the grommet into the flange. <laughs> You want to hear it? No, that's okay. Yeah, I think you should hear it. Dear Franklin, I'm a plagiarizing little weasel, and I don't know what you see in me. Love, Katie. I'm really sorry, Clara. I didn't mean to do it. It's just that your letter was so beautiful, and it was exactly how I felt. That's really sweet, Katie. I'm flattered that you think I have a brain in my head. I mean, most people don't. <laughs> but as flattered as I am, stealing someone else's ideas is wrong. But I don't have any ideas of my own. I'm sure you do. Just write, Franklin, and tell him how you really feel from your heart. But when I write things down, I sound so stupid. Franklin won't think it's stupid. 
Are you sure? I'm sure. In fact, it probably gets a little overwhelmed. It'll get you one of these. A silver charm brace. Let. Franklin, thank God you're here. Look, I'm making a lot of progress, but I'm having trouble with the wiring. Well, you happen to be in luck. I'm a licensed contractor. Oh, yeah? I see if he's lying. What's a grommet? It's the thing attached to the flange over there. Oh, he's good. Which, incidentally, is installed backwards. Well, well uh, we were going for a backwards yeah, kind of yeah, look. Drywall. Upsy down. We're going to put the floor on the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, you we're know, doing that. Everything. The art deco. Yeah. Well, let, let's get to work, though. Let's. I'm going to check this wire. <laughs> Franklin? <laughs> Are you wearing pink panties? <laughs> yeah, yes, but, but I can explain. It's not what you think. They were... A uh, gift. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but Jay said that everybody was wearing them. Okay, well, since you guys got the panties, I'm sure you got the matching pink training, bro. That's nasty. That's good. There's nothing like the feeling you get from doing something with your own hands. I feel like that every night. Ew! And in the morning. Ew! And in the shower. Ew! And two minutes ago. All right, Junior. <laughs> Michael, look, baby, I am so proud of you. I doubted you at first, and I'm very sorry about that, but this is a professional job, yeah. sweetie. Yeah, that this place is almost too nice for us. It <laughs> sure is. It is? <laughs> well, it's way too nice for you. I mean, it would be just plain old wrong to reward you with all of this. <laughs> yeah, Dad, but what about the baby? Oh, I do think the baby needs a new room. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you, Vanessa, and that baby have your old room back. Really? Yeah, that's right. But what's gonna happen to Michael's world? Say you let me do my magic. I cut this guy's respect, Jay. Say you know something. Why? Honey, not yet. <laughs> you look around, you'll see that we're in a very dangerous environment. 